Hi, I'm Lee Partridge and welcome back to Coal U TV. It's our midweek show here as we look back at the action from Saturday and ahead to the weekend's home game against Newport County. You can get your tickets for that one online now and we'll have a look at what else is to come over the next seven days a bit later on in the show. But firstly, let's have a look at Saturday's highlights with the thoughts of Ben Garner to follow. Ben, another point, but another game that it could have been three with the performance? Yeah, I'll be honest, it could have gone either way, really. It was um, it was a little bit open in that second half where we, we, we were pushing for the winner. You know, we wanted to get the three points and that did leave us a, a little bit open on the counter-attack at times. But I thought we created enough, second half especially, to, to win the game. Um, and, and the commitment effort from the players was, was fantastic. We much improved in the second half, much improved. Uh, one or two areas with their diamond that we we weren't nailed down on in the first half. We were a little bit in between and, and we made that a lot clearer at half time in terms of what we're doing without the ball. Gave us more aggression with our press. I uh, thought we looked a lot more solid. Uh, and then we, as I say, created really good opportunities to win the game. Yeah, and in, in my eyes, I felt it was us trying to push and push and push. And it was Tranmere getting chances on the break. Good chances with uh, trying to get forward on the break. But you must be pleased that it was us really, really trying to set our tempo to the second half. Yeah, it's been pleasing last weekend, this, that we're, we're taking the game to people. You know, we, we gave ourselves a, a tough task today with the goal we conceded. And obviously disappointing from our perspective. But the, as you say, the effort, the commitment, the spirit, the willingness to keep pushing and trying to not only get level. It wasn't, oh, we've got a point done. You know, the lads are getting the ball out of the net. We're getting it. We're getting it back. We want to push for the three points. So in the last two weeks, that spirit um, has been really, really pleasing. And that gives us a nice platform. We've just got to improve on that now. Yeah. And in that first half, we lost to Sam Rashley to injury, but it's good for someone that, that's as comfortable in there as uh, Arthur Reed is. Yeah. I mean, Ash was tight in his hip. Uh, we obviously get that assessed. And Reedy's obviously just come back. And I thought he impacted the game really well. He gave us um, a bit of poise and a bit of composure in there. You know, he's got a nice range of pass and a bit of quality. And for a first game back, we did really well. Um, and then we use the subs second half. You know, we're using all five subs regularly. They're all having an impact when they come on. And that's that's an important part of how we are as a group. Yeah, and that obviously gives you a headache next week because they'll want to be starting, not just coming on and yeah, making impact. Yeah, of course, we want that. The, the focus and the intensity, the competitive nature of training has been very pleasing. There's players that are fighting to get on the pitch, fighting to get in the squad. We need that. You know, we need that. We've got, hopefully, 
you know, two more coming back from injuries over the coming weeks that give us greater depth, and we're going to need that for these remaining games in the season. Yeah, and you mentioned there about uh, tweaking things at half time. Does that all come from you, Scott and Graham, or is that the players uh, saying, "Oh, I think we should do this," or is it a combination of both in there? We went in with. Uh, two messages as, as, a, as a coaching staff at half time one without the ball and one with the ball and um, we, we wanted to simplify the game as much as possible for the players so that it was very clear how we were pressing very clear what we were looking to do with the ball and how we, we could create an overload in a, in a specific area and that had a good impact second half but the players have to then go and have to go and do it and perform they're the ones on the pitch impacting the game and they did that really well second half wasn't quite the result we was looking or hoping for, but it's a point and we'll carry that momentum into this weekend's clash against Newport County. And good to see Arthur Reid back on the pitch for the second half as well. Also, a man that will be aiming to extend his advantage at the top of the scoring charts is Noah Chilvers. He slotted home from 12 yards on Saturday for his sixth goal of the season. And we spoke to him here in the studio afterwards. Noah, you're second in two games, but you must feel that you really do now want to uh, get on the winning team rather than just draws. Yeah, exactly. Um, personally, it's nice to, to score two and two, but yeah, like you say, the most important thing is a three point. So I think the second half, we've showed that we've got more than enough to win the games um, against all in the same. So yeah, we've got to push on and, and I think it will come definitely. Yeah, and you mentioned the second half because of course United were much better in that second half. In the first half, the head coach Ben Garn has been in here saying about maybe the midfield having to take a bit more responsibility and who they were picking up in that Tramir diamond. Yeah, I think they, um, like, like you say there, they had the diamond shape, which which means they outnumbered us four to three in there. And um, yeah, I think we were probably in between two things, like do, who do we press? So that's something that we, yeah, like you said, we need to take on. I think we got to grips with it, maybe with 10, 15 left of the first half, but that's too late. You can't you can't go through a game for 30 minutes and, and not really know who you're picking up. So, um, yeah, something we need to do better for sure. And, uh, yeah, and you now, you're still a young footballer, but you've played a lot of games now. So yeah, it's good that the manager sees you as one of those players that he can give more responsibility to. Yeah, exactly. That's that's one of the things I spoke to the gaffer in our first um, conversation I had with him when he came in was that he wants to look at me as one of the players that, that can lead us in, in times when, when we really need it. And I think in the last couple of games, I've done that. And obviously, stepping up to take a penalty, added responsibility. Yeah. Uh, one that you knew before the game that it'd be you if we got a penalty. It was me or uh, or Hops, and I, I just fancied it. So I said to him, when um, we thought we were going to get a penalty for the Samson one, I said to him, if it's a penalty, I'll have it. Um, that one didn't didn't happen to be a penalty, but thankfully, five, ten minutes later, I got one and put it away. Yeah. And in a game like that, 13 bookings, yeah. a penalty that was given, two that weren't, that some people thought were. Yeah, you, you must, uh, as a player, have to just keep concentrating on what you can control and yeah. not what the officials are doing. Yeah, very eventful, eventful game when you put it like that. Um, I think it got a bit too open towards the end, maybe as a result of that. Um, and that's something that we need to we need to definitely brush up on because when we're attacking and going for the win, which sums up what we want to do as a team, we need to make sure that we, um, we're still solid at the back and thankfully nothing came of it but there was a few times when maybe we were a bit too too open yeah but positive was today we created much more clear-cut chances yeah. uh fantastic tackles in that second half that probably prevented freddie sears get yeah. in on the score sheet as well that must give you good confidence going into the remaining eight games no definitely yeah like you say we created numerous chances today where on another day we score so yeah that, that gives us a lot of confidence we know that we can do it um it's just about putting it in the net and i think once I think it could be one of them things that once a few come and they hopefully like London buses, they'll, they'll all start flowing. But yeah, it's something that we're, um, we're working on enjoying every day. Now we're aiming for more goals this season and he's just a couple behind his career best of eight. And that's what he recorded last season. Two of his strikes are part of our goal of the month competition for March with Connor Hall's header against Orient completing the lineup. So let's take a look at those goals now.
The vote will be live on Colu tickets very shortly, just after the show, and we'll announce the winner in the coming days. Looking ahead to what we have here in the next few days for Colchester United, as we mentioned, the first team are hosting Newport County here on Saturday afternoon. Tickets are available online for that one. The U's under-21s play here at the JobServe Community Stadium on Tuesday evening, taking on Barnsley in the Professional Development League. Tickets will be available on the day for that. And uh, remembering, season ticket holders go free. And finally, the under-18s play Wigan on the 6th of April, and that's away. We'll provide updates on that one as it happens. So that's pretty much it for now. I'll be back for the pre-match show ahead of the Newport game. Uh, so we'll see you then. Whatever you're up to this week, weekend, have a great one. And until next time, it's goodbye for now.